to get around this story, you got to. There's three key characters to this story. Uh-huh. Okay, so there's there's Todd, the first grade ground manager at Manly Oval. He's he's the ground manager of Manly Oval. Yep. There's this guy Jake, who's the ground manager of the fifth grade Manly Cricket Club. Yep. And then yes. there is the homeless guys who live at Manly Oval. <laughs> okay. <laughs> They are a three characters for this one. The classic triad. The players. Also, during this time, I'm working at Westfield in the car park office. That comes in later. (laughs) The homeless guys at Manly Oval, Toddy, the first grade ground manager, doesn't like homeless people. Mm -hmm. Every morning when he gets to, every Saturday morning when he gets there for the cricket, the homeless guys are out getting a coffee, running errands, you know, as homeless people do. And uh, he takes all their mattresses and, and bags and throws them in the bushes. Oh. And when they come back, he tells them to fuck off. And they're not on the fucking green, right? They're, 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 they're on well, the no, they're right outside the dressing rooms. Okay. They're, right. in, they're in the clubhouse. They're in the way. But the thing is, they know there's cricket on. If you just, they, they know to leave. Yeah. Right. No they're need, not no actually need to, causing. Yeah, it's, right. it's symbiotic. They're not in the know. way from the guy who mows the fucking Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it, sure. And if you just say it's time to leave, they're like, no worries. Sure. And they've got places to be, mate. Yep, you know, course. it's a Saturday. You got to enjoy it. The sun's mm-hmm. out. So anyway. There's this guy, Jake, the fifth grade ground manager. He wants to be the first grade ground manager. <laughs> and these two hate each other. <laughs> okay, they're big, there's a war going on. This guy, Jake, would rock up to Manly Oval and be like, oh, fuck, what an absolute shit show. Toddy's a loser, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> so he's got ambitions. He's not even trying to usurp number four, three, or two. He's going straight to the top. Yeah, this guy couldn't give a shit about third grade. <laughs> <laughs> so so there's, there's beef here, right? Right. Anyway, so what happened was it was found out that Jake, the fifth grade ground manager, was also homeless and was living in the fifth grade clubhouse. Good <laughs> Lord. Oh. One of the coaches came down to pick up some balls and the bloke's making a ham sambo with a towel on. So, <laughs> <laughs> what? Are, the, are the clubhouse facilities pretty good then? I mean, there's a microwave and a shower. <laughs> so, yes. It's like a sleeping bag setup. The bloke's living there. Oh. Lord. Yeah, so it's qu- quite tragic, really. So, they changed the locks. Catch you later, Jake. Um, so he gets fired. You know, one of the only rules of managing the ground is that you can't live there. <laughs> In fact, it is the Damn. only rule. And don't touch the kids. Uh, fifth grade's a young team. But so, so now, Jake, the fifth grade manager, he has nowhere to go. He's homeless, right? He lives in the Manly area. He links up with these homeless guys at Manly Oval. Now, they now have a common em- enemy. Oh, yes. Yeah. Toddy. Toddy. Okay. Jake wants the first grade ground. The boys want to sleep there on a Friday night. Let's make it happen. Jake, okay. Jake also probably wouldn't mind sleeping there. You know, <laughs> yeah, <I> mean, <laughs> yep. you know what I mean? Two birds for Jake. <laughs> <laughs> so what Jake does, and I should have mentioned as well, of the homeless guys. Now, I'm, there's homeless people around the Manly area. Most of them are fine. A few of them, unfortunately, are not. Mm-hmm. They do ice and they're quite dangerous. There's only a couple of them at Manly Oval, but a couple of these ice addicts are pretty fucking full on. Mm. Like you would not like, they're, they're dangerous. No, I'm not, I'm not so Jake that. gives the ice addicts Toddy's address. Oh my God. And says, go, bad start. yeah, so go, go fuck this guy up. Basically. Oh, holy oh. shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so Toddy comes home one night and the fucking ice addicts are outside his house going, I'm going to fucking slit your throat. Oh my Lord. Fucking yeah. Hell. It's on. <laughs> it's, it is on. It's yeah. escalated now. So Toddy runs for his life. Anyway, nothing happens. It was all threats, thank God. All good. Now, I should say as well, Jake, as, as we know, he's homeless. He's looking for a job. It's cricket season. It's December. One of the only jobs going that requires no skills whatsoever, as long as you're a pretty fat 60-year-old. <laughs> Santa Claus at Westfield. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes. Enter yep. Billy Darcy to this story. Because <laughs> <laughs> I am working in the car park at this very same Westfield. Okay. Right. So I'm seeing this Jake bloke at work. You know, he's hitting me up for free parking all the time. <laughs> he's asking me if there's discounts for, for employees. I didn't know he was homeless at the time. So I'm like, mate, shut up. <laughs> Looking back, I would have been a bit more empathetic to the cause. <laughs> Maybe bought him a sandwich and, and let him out for free. But I'm like, mate, it's $27 for parking. I can't, I can't help you. Yeah. Um, but anyway. So Toddy finds out that Jake has fucking told these ice addicts where he lives. He's oh furious. He knows that Jake is the Westfield uh, Santa. So Jake is down there. He's got, he's got a kid on his lap. Oh, it's peak Christmas season. So there's like, there's a 50 meter line of kids. <laughs> Toddy comes down and goes, you absolute cunt. 
<laughs> grabs him by the beard and goes, I'm going to fucking kill you. Oh, my God. Four-year-old still on the lap. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Yes. Four-year-old gone flying. Yeah, so the four-year-old's, that's off. <laughs> now, now Santa and Toddy are... <laughs> they're, they're throwing heads Oh my <laughs> lord so, And I'm on the radio So I hear security to Santa Security to Santa <laughs> <laughs> It is going off Police everywhere Kids are running Crying Mums are crying uh, Yeah to- Toddy's threatened With an issue of his life Like They've gone at it Toddy's sprinted off You know Legged it <laughs> And, um, and you know The cops went round To Toddy's place They're like Mate you're gonna get done For assault He's like Nah it's not my fault all, got, all kicked off. All kicked off. Jake got fired as the Westfield Santa Claus. Oh, yeah, I wonder why. Santa, <laughs> no one said it was yeah. controversial. Yeah. Uh, Turned out he was living there. Yeah. <laughs> it's unrelated. Yeah, yeah he, was li- he was living under the sleigh. <laughs> oh, my God. And, um, and Toddy was banned from Westfield for a year. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, imagine the parents in that line. You would never know that. You would just yeah, be yeah. like... Imagine the kids in that line. Yeah, like, yeah. That wherever. your experience of Santa is him just getting the shit oh, kicked oh, out of him. Oh, God, yeah. That oh, kid's man. fucked up for sure. I reckon yeah. that'd be a well, fun... Someone storming in and be like, you can't. Someone's yeah. going to be like, mom, what did Santa do? <laughs> yeah.